John chapter 17. Just a reminder, and I'm not sorry I slayed them. I do understand that is, it must be understood that Jesus had made a very important point about the established royal demons. And what the flock was that? They gotta go. Gold is not God. Are you God? Is anything not God? And if we haven't made it clear, it was and still is and should not be a man's world. It is everyone's world, including the fish, and the men's club may lo no longer rule. It was a flog up in evolution. Evolution does not want them in the system, because they have made all the world their slaves in order to destroy countless gods early in their growing. I don't propose they are evil spirits from the dark matter of the universe. Someone else can. They are simply a very serious evolutionary mistake. Evolution always makes mistakes. If it hadn't, I would not be here, I and I. John's writing is different again than the others who have flogged with my head to get me to see what I was looking at. Bunch of bastards, all of them. Verse 15, I do not ask you to take them out of the world, but to do. But I do ask you to keep them safe from the evil ones. End quote. For life sent one of its creatures to understand where life was and what it was, so that, so that the world would bloody well wake up and accept the kingdom of life. That, can no, that cannot and will not be owned by a bunch of sleeping monkeys. And I don't want to be Jesus Christ. I want the world to be full of life and a garden paradise when I find myself in another life. And I won't have to wonder who I am. I'll know what I am. Because it will be obvious in, in those I commune with. Jesus laughed. At the fish up on the mountain that would not be moved. The fish laughed somewhere back in his head. Don't worry, mate, nothing is really dead. And with death as our bloody religious icons, that gets a little hard to believe. And for those who manage to let go of your belief, you will see it, and you won't need to believe in Jesus. You could have a coffee or tea with him. There ain't gonna be no magic tricks, just theater. And it has always already been started. We don't need no Armageddon, verse 20. I pray that they may all be one one being many. Jesus had to laugh because he knows his mother has been praying many years that he, her son would find Jesus. I love you too, Mum, and do everything I'm told by angels, mixing it always with my instinct for understanding my world. And things will be different. I can't promise it will be easy. For most people on the planet, it is too hard for them to believe we are in heaven because our greed has made their life hell. And that is not funny. I don't suggest we take time for shame or mourning. We must take time for life. And working for the man, as everyone knows, sucks.